The fool have said in his heart, There is no God, they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. The Lord looked down from heaven upon the children of men to see if there were any that did understand and seek God. They are all gone aside. They are altogether become filthy. There is none that doeth good. No, not one. And uh, those were the first three verses of Psalm chapter 14. And yes, in, indeed, uh, the fool have said in his heart, there is no God. And uh, I'm here to tell you that, you know, the heavens declare the glory of God. You can look just at things around you. You can look at creation and know that there's a creator. Okay. Um, you can look at the stars, at the mountains, at the waters, and you can know that it was created. Um, just like you can look at a house and know that somebody built that house. Um, you could look, you know, at, at a car and understand that somebody designed that car. And... You know, God, you know, he gives you the witness of creation, but he also gives you the witness of conscience. Um, because where does your conscience come, come from? The Bible teaches it comes from God. God gave you a conscience. And without God, then everything would, would be permissible. Uh, there would be nothing that would be wrong because everything would be relative. Um you know, without God, uh, you can't, you can't say anything's wrong, you know, without, without talking about God and his word. Um, if God weren't real, and he is real, but if he weren't real, um, then There'd be nothing wrong with cannibalism. There'd be nothing wrong with murder. There'd be nothing wrong with rape. There'd be nothing wrong with just the most barbaric things uh, a human being, you know, is capable of. And, you know, a lot of people believe that right and wrong depends on the culture. Okay. Um, you know, for example, in India, you're not allowed to eat cattle. You know, that's part of their religion, that's part of their culture. But, you know, in most other countries, you can. Maybe every other country besides India, but, you know, in India, it's wrong. Um... To eat cattle. But, you know, according to the Bible, there's nothing wrong with eating cattle. Okay. In some places in other countries, you know, there are literal cannibals. They eat people. You know, if everything's relative, then maybe cannibalism just isn't your cup of tea. But it's their cup of tea. Okay. And, you know, that's just an insane worldview. Um, you know, some cultures think there's nothing wrong with raping a woman. According to the Bible, it's wrong. According to God, it's wrong. But if you don't believe in God, then why would it be wrong? Right? If, if everything's relative then people would just think, oh, whatever is my cup of tea, that's what I'd be into. And if that's your cup of tea, that's what you'd be into. And look, uh, you know, Jeffrey Dahmer, you know, who was a homosexual and a murderer and a cannibal, and he killed multiple people and ate them, 
Okay. When he was in jail, he talked about how, you know, he was in school, he was taught atheism, and he figured that he could just do whatever he wanted. Because he thought if he was just a monkey and life was meaningless, then do whatever you want. And um, men were made in the image of God. You're not a monkey, okay? You didn't evolve from some amoeba or a monkey or a little fish or anything ridiculous like that. Okay, and some people still want to say that there's no absolutes. Well, I'm going to ask you, are you absolutely sure about that? What's your name? Where are you from? You know, if you say my name is so-and-so and I'm from this place, well, are you absolutely sure about that? <laughs> Look. The fool have said in his heart, there is no God. And it takes a fool to believe that once upon a time there was nothing and nothing exploded and started creating stuff. That's stupid. That takes a fool. Okay. It takes a fool to believe that nothing exploded and created stuff. And then that stuff that came from nothing started to evolve into complex organisms. That's ridiculous. Okay. You know, if you think nothing and... If you think nothing could create an organized universe, then here's a scientific experiment, okay? Okay. <laughs> You know, prepare a meal for your family. And, you know, just leave the dishes in the sink and don't wash them. Okay. Do nothing until those dishes just wash themselves and put themselves away and you have an organized kitchen. That's not going to happen. Okay. Because... <laughs> Chaos doesn't organize itself. And nothing didn't explode and make stuff because nothing is nothing, friend. And the fool have said in his heart there is no God. Now, without believing in God... There's nothing wrong with somebody walking across the street... And just, you know, clocking you right in the nose. You know, if that's just their cup of tea and they like clocking you in the nose. You know, but of course, that'd be wrong. Okay. The Bible says, love thy neighbor as thyself. Um, and our conscience, um you know, tells us that that's wrong, and our conscience came from God, okay? But some people want to have their conscience seared by trying to push God away. The more you push God away, the more your conscience sears, you know, and the more wickedness you get into. Um, you know, women that murder their own babies, they do it because their their conscience is seared. And they didn't want to think about God. You know. People. Who literally eat each other. You know. They try to push God out of the picture. And their conscience gets seared. Friend. There's a definite right and a definite wrong. Okay. 
The things that are wrong are called sin. Sin's the transgression of the law. Sin. The wages of sin is death. Okay, but I'm here to tell you, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. You're going to die someday. Okay. And as it is appointed unto men once to die, but after this the judgment. The reason you don't live forever in this body is because of sin. The reason, the reason you age is because of sin. And for all have sinned and come short of the glory of God. We have a sin nature and, you know, men by themselves will not seek after the God of the Bible. The God of the Bible seeks after men. And God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. He wants all of us to acknowledge the truth. And repentance is a change of mind, okay? From, you know, it, if you believe God's not real, then repent of that. Change your mind about that. Believe God's real. And, you know, if you think that you're a good person and that, you know, you can just make up rules that you're the, you know, you're the god of your own world. Change your mind about that. Repent of that. Okay. You've sinned in the eyes of an almighty God for calling him a liar, for being covetous, for being a liar yourself. You know, for having murder in your heart and for rejecting on top of so many other things, okay, but rejecting Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ made the world's friend. Nothing that was made was not made by Jesus Christ. He is the creator. And he's also the redeemer of men. Jesus Christ was God manifested in the flesh. He lived a perfect, sinless life. A life that you and I could never live. And in the eyes of an almighty God, we deserve hell for our sins. But Jesus Christ loves us. And He died on the cross for our sins. According to the scriptures, He was buried on the third day. Or excuse me. He was buried and on the third day. He resurrected from the grave for your justification. The way into heaven is by believing on the Lord Jesus Christ. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by Him, and without Him was not anything that was made. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us, and we beheld His glory, the glory as the only begotten of the Father, full of grace and truth. Jesus Christ is the God that forgives sins. Okay. And, you know, there's three that bear a record in heaven. The Father, the Word, and the Holy Ghost, and these three are one. 
Great is the mystery of godliness, my friend. But thank God that, you know, the mystery of Jesus Christ coming to earth, taking on flesh, being born of a virgin, conceived by the Holy Ghost, living a life we couldn't live, and while we were yet sinners, Christ dying for us, Christ paying for all of our sins on the cross, so that we don't have to go to hell, and offering as a free gift, for by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast, where God loves the unlovable. He even tasted death for people that would never believe on him. But he did it because he wanted everybody to be saved. He wants everybody to believe on him. But friend, the fool has said in his heart there is no God. And the thought of foolishness is sin. But the blood of Jesus Christ that was shed on that cross, friend, it will cleanse us of all sin. I be asking, what must I do to be saved? Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. Because Jesus Christ paid for all your sins on the cross. Once you accept Him as your Savior, your sin debt is paid in full. Even future sins, all your sins are paid for. And it's once saved, always saved. He'll grant you eternal life the moment you trust Him. And, man, He's not going to take away that eternal life. Okay. You don't deserve salvation. But God is love and God is offering it to you as a gift. He that believeth on the Son of God hath the witness in himself. He that believeth not, God hath made him a liar because he believeth not the record that God gave of his Son. And this is the record that God hath given to us eternal life, and this life is in his Son. He that hath the Son hath life, and he that hath not the Son of God hath not life. These things have I written unto you that believe on the name of the Son of God, that ye may know that ye have eternal life, and that ye may believe on the name of the Son of God. Jesus Christ the same yesterday and today and forever.